three. I have a full face of makeup on. I do not have, I'm not dressed, sorry. Um, I just filmed the bits for my It Cosmetics review, like my little insert shots. I basically just said, well, I'm putting on the makeup, so I might as well film it while I do it. So here's my fancy setup. Isn't this impressive? Um, <laughs> I've just pulled my Muji drawers. So just a quick little tour of the disaster that is my room. My bathroom, those are Muji drawers. I'm not sure how I feel about them. This is a lipstick tower that I ordered off of Amazon. Um, I need another one because I'm psychotic. Um, and my Clinique Lip Pops do not fit in the, well they fit, but the problem is they're short. So when I put them in, like they go all the way to here and then I can't get them out, they don't stick out. And they're usually arrayed in order around the edges, but half of them are, or more than half of them are, either in my purse or out, out in the family room. Anyway, so I pulled that here, I took a, a <laughs> powder container and I propped my camera up there, and then that's the light, that's my makeup mirror, but that's also a good light source. And then here is the um, after effect <laughs> of all the, I mean, yeah, I pretty much used almost everything. Not that mascara that's lying there, that was yesterday's, but, and I watched a YouTube video from Lily Pebbles while I was doing it. So if you see me jamming out, there's some music there. So that is, um, I don't know when that video will go up, if it's already up in your world or if it's coming up. But um, now I need to do something about the hair because I went to bed with it wet. Is it dry now? Yeah, I went to bed with it wet. Why am I so, I feel like I'm very close to the camera. There we go. And um, I used a new shampoo and conditioner that was sent to me. And I will say that for sure my hair is less frizzy and less curly than normal. So I guess that's a good thing, right? It doesn't feel as soft, but I'm realizing that I forgot to put any product in before I went to bed. So that is not a judgment. So just based on how the hair dried naturally, that's not bad. I'm just going to zhuzh it up a little bit. And um, then the day includes picking up the various prescriptions for all the people that live in my house, including the dog. And hopefully buying some new pool floaties. Um, we have one that has survived the winter. We really need to put those in storage and not leave them outside at all. We keep them in a fenced area, but it's outside all winter. And I really need to like deflate them and move them in the garage when the pool season, which is like November, <laughs> is over. So that's kind of the, the plan. Hey guys, it's very sunny out. Um, now I'm in the dark. Okay, so I'm walking into Ulta because even though It Cosmetics gave me the most ginormous box of goodies I've ever seen in my life, um, I want more. I love their stuff. So I'm gonna go look at um, what they have here in the store. And I'm gonna turn it off now because there's very loud music in the background. Hey guys, I'm walking in H-E-B as usual, and uh, I'm just gonna try to get in as quickly as possible. I just have to say, I just saw this woman coming out. She's pushing a double cart, like for two kids to sit in there, but her kids are not in the cart. Her kids are running loose in the parking lot, and they're little bitty, like two and four, maybe. And I just wanna go over to that woman and grab her and just slap her. They are literally running loose in a parking lot. She is pushing a, a cart that has room for two kids. And she's not even like holding their hands. She's walking ahead of them and they're behind her, just running around, completely unrestrained. It upsets me that I care more about what happens to her kids than apparently she does. Okay, that's it. That's just my... I don't get it. I just don't get people. Probably see her behind me. Anyway, I'm gonna run really fast and make this a quick, quick shop. It's gonna be in record time. Ooh, they're advertising Burger Bash. Rockin' Burger recipe sides and more. Okay, let's get to Burger Bash. Hey guys, I'm back from my rapid fire grocery shopping and I saw this impulse and bought it. Chicken Pad Thai, what is that in it? Roasted white meat chicken, carrots, all that good stuff. Unfortunately, it already has the peanuts in there. I hate peanuts. But I'm gonna give it a go because, oh, missing the parts of my microwave. Aha. Okay. Three minutes.
minutes, take off the film, sit around two more minutes, an instant lunch. And then I'm not gonna do like a whole grocery haul, but Vidalia onions are the best onions in the world. We don't get them here in Texas, but Texas sweet onions are in season, so I grabbed some of those. All time favorite barbecue ranch. I cheat and add a little extra sweet barbecue sauce when I mix it all in. Got a couple of those, some tomatoes. I'm making these for Michael. These are salmon burgers. Um, one for him, and I'm thinking one for Jake. He has his last final tomorrow, he get a little brain food. And then I got brisket steak burgers. So that's dinner. And I'm also making sweet potato fries. And my famous, it's not famous, but we all love it. And it's more for like to munch on throughout the next few days. It's um, small pasta of any kind. I'm getting this baby farfalina, but any small pasta and you, you cook it and then you set it up on a cookie sheet to cool and you drizzle it with olive oil and then you mix it with feta cheese and cranberries and I think basil and it's so, and lemon juice. Oh crud, do I have lemon juice? I think I do. I have lemons, a lemon. And it's so good, it's so refreshing. It's good at room temperature, it's good at, it's good cold, right out of the fridge. So I'll make a big pot of that and have that. Hey guys, the uh, UPS guy came. <laughs> So I can't, and I apologize right now because I cannot remember your name, but one of you alerted me that Staples, it's an office supply place, I would have never thought to look there, was having a special on my beloved Keurig um, gingerbread K-cups, and it was six and change, I think, for a 24 pack, usually a standard size K-cup pack or box is, I think, 18. So... Um, these are on sale. Ah, I'm so excited. How many are in here? 24. 24 gingerbread. And please say gingerbread somewhere on here because I'm going to get, have a nervous breakdown. Okay, limited edition gingerbread. They were on sale for $6 and change for 24 of these. And if you spent $50, which really isn't all that much if you think about it, um, it was free shipping. So I got... A few. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times twenty-four. What is that? Eight times twenty-five would be two hundred. So just under two hundred days worth of coffee. Or minus eight. So a hundred and ninety-two days of coffee. And that will get me to holiday season when I can restock up on this again. Now the channel is just to figure out where to put them all. But I'm so, so happy, except I don't want to have a cup of coffee right now. It's almost three o'clock and I'll be up all day. So I have no room in the cupboard. Mm -hmm. We'll figure something out. But to my subscriber that told me this, who thought of me, who went out of her way to let me know right away, and I'm such a horrible person that I can't remember your name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will think of you every morning. And I have my coffee. Yay, thank you. Everybody, I'm gonna end the vlog um, here tonight. It's, what time is it? Six o'clock, we're getting ready for dinner. I'm getting ready for dinner. And uh, I am um, having a little moment. I'm having um, some issues with Jake's school and um, my heart is breaking a little bit. I don't wanna get into Jake's personal stuff. Um, that's just a violation for him, but What's breaking my heart is that I've come to realize that no one at his high school, one, there's one coach, two coaches, but none of his academic teachers could give a flying flip about him or his struggles or anything that's going on in his life. And I just got off the phone with his English teacher and when I tried to explain the situation, which I'm not gonna get into with you guys, she says to me, I don't care, it doesn't matter. And it just, so I called a counselor, and ask her what we can do, and she says, if she's following district procedure, there's nothing you can do. And it just makes me sick to my stomach that when I went through high school, I had teachers that cared, I had teachers that mattered to me, and I knew I mattered to them. And I really don't think there is a teacher at my son's high school that gives a flip about their students. I really don't. And I'm just curious if, 
anybody has been having a really positive experience with public school. I was a public school teacher. My mom was a public school teacher. Michael's mom was a public school teacher. Teachers, good teachers make such, whether public or private, good teachers make such a difference in a kid's life. They can do such amazing things. And it just makes me sad that my son is three years done with high school and has never had a teacher that made a difference in his life or cared to even after being reached out to, it just, it really hurts my heart. So, I'm going to say goodnight and hope tomorrow is a better day. And um, thank you for letting me be vague and not get into this too much because I have to respect my child's privacy, but I think this is an issue we need to start talking about is, um, you know, it's funny, the whole time my kids have been in school, all we get is the anti-bullying and kids need to be kind to each other and all that. And in the 11 years, 12 years of kindergarten that my kids have been in formal education, the only bullying I have ever seen, or the only time when a person has made a child feel bad about themselves, is a teacher to a child. I have never once heard or witnessed child to child. And it just, I just don't know what's wrong with the world. I do not know. Anyway, that was my vent. It's not a rant. That was my vent. Thank you guys so much for being there virtually. And I appreciate it. And I hope that you can um, appreciate that I can't share any more than that. Um, but the general gist, I think we can all relate to as parents or former students. So with that, I will say goodnight and I will see you guys tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey everyone. Well, in my house, summer is officially here. School is over and we are in the full swing of going to the pool, being outside all day, being in the sun, being hot and sweaty. 